Hey, what is up, everybody? Here we are, and we're going to be doing a tutorial today on Photoshop. And this tutorial is going to show you how to make um, some just um, different types of masking techniques that you can use in Photoshop. And it will show you how that you can overlay images on other images to make it look quite nice transition between it so there isn't that black line. So before we get started into this tutorial, I would love to give an announcement to um, Holo Gaming, no, Holo Point, I mean, he's an awesome first person shooter channel at the moment. He's around 2,700 subs at this point of time of making this video, and he's featured on my channel. So if you want to go check him out, go check him out. Um, we're going to be doing a partnership, so we're going to be collaborating together, and we'll be doing some gameplays in the future, hopefully, and everything like that. Um, if you go to his channel, um, all, all his graphics design has been done by me, so I've been doing some work for him, so he's, he was my client, he ordered some things, and I've done it for him. So I am doing client projects at the moment. I'll put a template at the end of the video about the prices that I do and a bit more information about it. Um, also, I'll be uploading in a separate video about doing client work. Um, yeah, so make sure you go check him out, and we might hopefully we'll be doing some videos later in the future. So I hope that you guys enjoy this um, tutorial. Never let let's get to start. So yeah, so first, um, this is some of his backgrounds that I've been doing his what is it called outro. So let's go ahead and press. But never mind. We're just gonna go press Command N, and we're just gonna do twelve A by seven twenty. Which is standard resolution. Oh shit. I'm gonna make sure it's in pixels also, because you don't have it. The resolution, I'm gonna make it 300, and I wanna make the name um, masking, because I'm gonna teach you different types of masking techniques. So yeah, um, this is actually really good. So first, I'm just gonna get an image in. So what I'm gonna be using, so I'm gonna use Call of Duty stock photos. So for an example, if you wanna mask, um, You, that's a really nice image, right? But it has a background, and if you want to get rid of that background, I'll teach you. So, yeah, um, I'm also going to open up a texture. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I like this texture's quite nice. Open up both. All right, sweet. So once you've got your textures in. Um, so you're just going to import that on, so for an example, if you're making a, what it's called, oh fuck, I hate this one because the name's massive. So for an example, if you're making a banner and you would like to add some photos and you want to know how to mask them, this is tutorial to be at. So I'm just going to put my image in here and I'm also going to get my background texture. So I'm going to use this one at first. Just gonna press Control T then Command Zero. They'll automatically fit the trend, the transformation onto the screen. Command Shift Enter to stop that transformation. Press Command um, Zero to go back in. I'm just gonna move this in. Press Command Y. Okay. So sweet. So you've got this right here, and you want to do a transition of this. So you you've got your image here. This is what I do, and I haven't seen any other graphics designers do this before. So you make a new layer above this, that image, that's that, and then you get your brush tool, you size it up to like in a reasonable size so it'll cover the picture, so I'm just going to do 700. So that's a decent size, ah, it's too, too big. For an example, 600. It's a tad bit too big. 500. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so you've got this, and you want to pick off where you want the image to. So I want to get this guy's, this image with this guy. It's a very nice render and a little bit of background. So I'm going to cut it off around here. I'm going to make sure that I have white as my foreground color. I'm just going to go bam. Okay, what I've done here is I made sure that I had the size that. I've done the hardness to 70. It's pretty important that you have this hardness to around 70, 71, like that. And... You pick one of these brushes to make a nice little box, so for an example, the third one. Alright, so once you've done that, 
I'm gonna do that. Now, now you hold command and you hit the thumbnail off this layer. This is gonna select everything that's on this layer. So it's gonna make a nice even circle. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click back on this on the layer that's my photo. I'm gonna press Command Shift I. And what this does is it inverts the selection. So instead of selecting the middle part, it selects everything else besides the middle part. And simply while being selected on the photo layer, I press delete. And if you see this, if I hide this, you have that. So to deselect this layer, to deselect the selection, I just press command D simply. And there you go, you have done your selection. So obviously, as you can see, it's cut off. It's being cut off a little bit down here, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, this is a very nice demonstration. And see, you've got the nice mask transition between the image and the texture. So you don't notice a difference. If you, for an example, had it with like, see, you can notice that the there's an image border, but because of there's this, you can, and basically you can turn this layer back on, right? And you can do it on another image, move it across, hold command, hit that, press command I, and then select that layer and press delete. And see, I've got that layer now, so I've kept that, so everything that stays in there. But it's pretty easy, um, just make sure that you're holding command, command shift I to invert the selection and have a nice big brush. So that's a very simple way, and if you want it to look really like it's on the texture, go to normal and then just go to screen. So you change the blending mode to screen, and you can do that, and you can control J that, and it's going to look a bit better. With different textures, it's different. So overlay, there's soft light, there's like the overlay, and mess around with the um, blending options to make it look like it's really masked onto the texture. For an example, if you go in here, look at that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that's actually really good um, technique for using when you're masking. There's also other techniques out there. So for an example, I'm going to get a new, new, I'm going to drag this picture back on. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to show you the eraser tool. So it's another method where you can use it and it's like very simple. So basically you want to have the opacity around 50%. Sweet. And have the hardness about 20%, 24%. I'm going to do a bigger brush just for this purpose station, just like um, for this purpose. And then you just hold hold down and you lightly come off. And what this does is it like you can edit it more softly. And that's what a lot of other people do, where they just go ahead and use the brush tool. And yeah, it's really important that you guys know how to use this masking because if you're going to be doing graphics design and if you're going to be doing some work for clients, and they ask you, oh, I would like a YouTube banner, you really need to know how to do some basic masking because even the beginners know how to use masking in Photoshop. So I reckon, yeah, it's quite important. You get the idea with the eraser tool and you can be a little bit more accurate. Another thing that you can do, is if I get this image back, actually, don't worry. So another thing that you can do if you want to be even more accurate is you can use like the pen tool. So for an example, grab your pen tool, make sure that this is on a different layer by the way. Alright, so if I want to make it, alright, so here I'm just going to curve this up right like that. I'm going to do make selection and I'm going to do the feather radius around 30. So once you've got your selection with the pen tool, you put the feather radius around 30, and then you go Command Shift I, and then go Delete, and then there you have that. So with the feather radius, you can really make a very nice. If you don't make it feather radius, if you don't make a feather radius, for example, if you do a make selection, make it zero feather radius, and then press Command Shift I, and then press Delete. That's what's going to come out. So you really want to make sure that you have a feather radius on that. So you can do it with the pen tool, and the same goes with the polygon tool. So if you have the polygon lasso tool, you can do like that. And make sure before you go that, you want to do the feather around 30, like I said before, and then go Control Shift I, and then go Delete. 
Ah, that didn't work. Okay, now try. Change the feather before you do the selection, trust me guys. Otherwise the feather won't come out. Comment ship die, delete. And then bam, you have that. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it was um, helpful. Now I'm gonna try something new, so if you if it was helpful or if you like this tutorial at any point in time, make sure that you hit that like button. And I wanna see if we can get to 10 likes on this video. So please, if you're watching, smack that like button and I hope that you enjoy it. And before I finish off here, um, if you do want some client work done, some personal unique stuff, um, just keep on watching the video because there will be like a cool little template showing all my prices and what I can do. So thank you for watching this tutorial once again and thanks for seeing my new intro because I made an intro. <laughs>